Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first Saturday of the month. So that means that today is going to be a cross stitch journey video number seven. Ooh, lucky number seven. Actually, it's kind of funny because I now have seven projects, which we'll get into in a minute. But first, I want to start off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers coming in and welcome back to all my regular subscribers. If these are the videos that you come particularly to my channel to see, just know that I have all these videos in a playlist so that that way you don't have to go through my whole channel to find <laughs> these videos. If you're looking for these only, um, they're right there tucked away for you and if not i hope you enjoy everything else on there as well otherwise but i'm just going to put out a quick little disclaimer i have a full house right now so if you end up hearing background noise uh just know it's because we have company and they'll be here for another week which i'll get into that in a minute as well but uh i guess let's go ahead and get started on quick life update what has been going on this month First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. I got my hair fixed. Can you guys see now what I'm talking about? It's just so much more movement. I ended up going to the place I originally should have gone. And Sam, who was my stylist there, he did an amazing job and did exactly what I wanted. So it's so much more layered and not like one like chunky mess. So. <laughs> Even he was like, yeah, she didn't really give you a shag. She gave you just a small little shelf layer. But uh, in case you're looking for someone in San Antonio to go to, go to AK Lounge and ask for Sam because he was amazing. I absolutely loved him and he did a super awesome job. Also this month, it was a busy month. It was a very busy month in June. My daughter had her birthday, as you remember, if you saw my last video, and she's five, and so we took her in for her health, what is it, yearly health, um, like appointment, and turns out her eyes aren't doing too good, so we just ended up uh, getting her her optical eye appointment and so she does need glasses so now she has glasses and it's a new thing she's only had them since yesterday they just came in yesterday so as much as she looks adorable this is all new to me so my husband is the one who has had glasses most of his life so I keep pushing him to like help her out but yeah, so that's a new thing going on with us. And then my husband's best friend was here that one weekend. So I got a little stitching done then. Right now we have my brother and sister-in-law here and they'll be staying another week. So we've been having lots of fun so far, AKA my girls have been having lots of fun with their Tia and Theo here, but I have actually been able to have some time by myself surprisingly they are just attached to their hips and so i'm just chilling hanging out kicking back and it's pretty freaking nice i'm not gonna lie i have not had this kind of relaxation in like five years <laughs> since my oldest was born so yeah they are here for another week uh, my husband will be off this week from work so we're gonna be out venturing a little more so I'm not sure how much more stitching I'll get done this week compared to this last week I did but yeah so that's what's going on right now so I did get quite a bit of stitching done at the end here that I didn't think I was gonna get in I actually kind of went a little slower this month there was about a good six days that I didn't stitch at all which is a first in the last couple months now but I have a really good reason. <laughs> I have been drowning in books. I have actually hit my Goodreads goal this month. Usually I never read this much. I think the most I've ever read in one year was the 19 books I read last year. And I think before that may have been like 12, 14. But this month I had set a goal for 25 books and I hit it like mid June and then i upped it another 10 so it's at 35 now and i've already read three more books 
And the crazy part is I actually found my all-time favorite series ever. And I've discovered what my favorite genre is ever. So it's basically a book about King Midas and the Golden Touch. And it's about a girl who he touched who's basically like gold. And it was really good. That's all I knew about it going in. And I'm glad that's all I knew about it because it was such a, what is it? Not, not a shocker. What do you call that? Um, I'm totally blanking. I'll probably remember the term once I'm done filming. Yeah, it was just so good. It made me feel everything. I was excited. There was a point in the first book where I honestly didn't even want to finish the book. I was like, this is kind of, kind of boring, but I realized I only had like a hundred pages left. So I figured I'd just push through it. And if I really didn't like the ending, then I just wouldn't continue the series. Yeah, I'm glad I did. Cause the next chapter like grabbed me and pulled me in and I could not put them down, but I was laughing out loud a lot. I cried. I was like in love. I was, it was predictable, but then it was like that moment again. And oh, it was just so good. It had everything I could ever want in a book. There are a lot of trigger warnings in this book. So I will warn you right now, if you're interested in checking out this series, it does, it's a dark fantasy romance. So I'm just going to let you know right now, if you have some sensitivities, just look into a little bit before you start reading. But I think that's what made it more lovable is that it had those moments where it made me angry and made me uncomfortable that was mixed in with all the normal like happiness and love and all that. And I think that just really is what made this like series like so good. Turns out the fourth book doesn't come out until next May. So I'm really upset. <laughs> because now I have to wait a whole year to find out what happens. And it's been a long time since I've had to do that. I didn't realize that the fourth book was an out on the Kindle Unlimited that it's available on. It didn't just say it. You had to like click on it and then it would tell you that it's not available. So <sighs> it is what it is, but I am in love with that series. So that kind of took up a big chunk of my time because all I wanted to do was sit down and read this series and I did I couldn't help myself I had to I had to just sit and read it as soon as I was done I wanted to reread it but I had to hit the brakes <laughs> and I figure I'll reread it when the last book does come out but uh, otherwise there was another series I started right after and that was really good I just finished that yesterday so Kindle Unlimited is where is that if you really like those fantasy romance novels that's where it's at but that is my like my little niche I now know is the dark fantasy romance. So I'm just throwing all this out there because that is why I only got what I got done, but I think I did quite a bit of progress. So let's go ahead and jump into all of my whips and you can see what I have been working on. So the first one, of course, I'm going to go into is Celestine by Margaret Morales and it's a paid heaven and earth design and this one was the last project i worked on this month so here's where it was last time so if you remember i finished the whole first row last time and then this is where i got to this past week so i didn't get too much done i know i think i had a goal of four rows and i got one and a half there so it's not too bad there's lots of purples lots of um really dark blues so it's actually a really pretty spot to be working in right now and it's such a crazy feeling to be like filling it in now compared to like making new columns it's now filling in so it does kind of feel kind of weird that i'm I'm working there now but yeah so it's just a little tiny tiny start I think just because I worked so much on it last month I was just so burned out on her so I kind of saved her for last and I'm actually surprised at how much I did get done because I almost thought I wasn't gonna work on her this month I was like oh maybe I'll get a square or two but I did get quite a bit done I really did and like I said I think it's more because my girls are attached to uh, their, their aunt and uncle's hip that 
I was able to sit down and like work on it. But otherwise, she is on a 25 count linen and it's two over one full cross. And with the numbers, let's see, I worked on her for five days and I did 1,585 stitches. And that puts me at 35,884 total. And I'm at 23.30% completed. So last time I was at 22.27%, so almost a full percent more. But here's what I'm at so far. So, well, I guess I'll explain the rest when I get to the plans part on what I have planned for her coming up next month. So the second project that I worked on was actually the second project that I had started and that is Persephone. So here's where I was at last time. I had finished two pages and this is where I'm at now. I finished another page. So I did get one more done and it's just flying. This one is flying. I just, I'm really enjoying it and even though it's like a massive big piece, now now I can actually show you guys how big it is because it's off the key snap, but it's a very big piece. So I think I have three, I have six more pages to do. So it's getting there. At this point, I have one more uh, page of full background. And then on the next one after that, I'll be getting into his hair. So that's really, really exciting. Um, yeah, so there's not really much to look at right now. It's just more background. <laughs> um, but maybe you can see all the like swirls of blues and the greens and the blacks. But that's mostly what I've been working with on this one. No other colors yet. And a little bit of purple. There is a little sprinkle of purple in there. Um, but yes, one more page of this and then we'll get at least the top of his head of uh, Hades's head. So for this one, it is by Alessandra V. Bach, and it is also a heaven and earth's design. And this one is on 28 count easy grid, a uh, two over one 10 stitch. And I worked on this one for 10 days. I was, this was kind of in between when I was reading a little bit. So this one is kind of like my love piece because it's Hades and Persephone. It's like one of the biggest love stories, right? So when I would finish one of my books, I just wanted to work on this. It's kind of like keeping the love alive a little bit. Then at the very end, I got sucked into the books and then I just wanted to read. And so that's why it took a little longer to do this one, but I'm noticing it takes about a week to get a full page done. So I'm doing pretty consistent on this one. This one I did 7,840 stitches and right now I'm at 23,520 total and I'm at 6.25% complete. Last time I was at 4.16%. So it is a good little chunk there, but yeah, nothing new with this one as well. Other than, other than nothing. Oh, other than I get to move it on my Q-snap. <laughs> so it will be moved over again and I'll be working on the next little block there. So that is Persephone. So that was my goal was to finish the page and I hit that goal. Then I have, where'd it go? Ah, I was hiding under Persephone. I have Halloween Quaker by Leela Studio. And if you remember again from my last video that I had some issues with it and I didn't know where I was going to go after those issues. So I'll show you where I ended up going. So this is what it looks like last time that you saw it. And then here's what it is now. So all I did was this motif and that was my goal. So I did reach my goal. I just went and finished 
this motif. Otherwise, it was to take out the stitching and finish the row of houses down here. But I just, I just couldn't look at it. There was a comment that said I could just add a few stitches to attach the chimney to the house. And I was totally for that. I was like, yes, that is brilliant. That's what I'm doing. So when I went to work on this, I went to do that. But the thing is, is that there's more stuff connected down here, more like house and stuff. And I was like, oh no, that's not gonna work because it was very specific. Um, what was there. So I just, I was like, okay, then I'm not going to touch it right now. So that's why I moved up here to the top. And this one was just um, company stitching. We had our friends over so the girls can play in the slip and slide and stuff since it was hot out. So I just sat outside and this is mostly what I stitched on and same the next day. So this one did take me two days to work on. So it's just a little bit. Um, I do want to work on it more, but like I said, I'm just this is throwing me off down here a little bit. So it's, I don't know if I'm gonna make it wait or not this month. But anyways, this is on a 40 count hand dyed linen called Halloween Party by Barbarelle Creations. And I'm doing one over two full cross. And I'm using the call for colors, which are all the classic color works. I did end up doing 680 stitches. So this is a 680 stitch right there. And that puts me at 5,281 stitches on this. And I'm at 29.34%. And last time I was at 25.51%. So a little bit done. And this was the third project that I worked on. So it was my third start and my third project I worked on this month. But like I said, it only took a couple days, so that's where we're at. I actually did finally cut off all that extra fabric that it was on it. So this is how big it'll be. Probably not even that up to here, I think. So it's gonna be a little tiny dinky dingy, and I think it's gonna be super cute. So that is Halloween Quaker, and that is where I'm on that so far. Like I said, we'll get into plans with that later. It was in and out, <laughs> in and out this month. Then I worked on Windrunner and Windrunner is by Kendra Gloomblade and it's from Thread Geeks. And here's where it was last time you saw it. And my goal for this one was to finish the page. So I did end up finishing the page. Look how cute. Look at her hair. I love it. Now that there's more hair there, it looks really cool. So that's the bottom bit. So the next one is gonna start getting into her face, the next page of it. I think there's just a tiny bit more of the background up here. But yeah, it'll start going up and this is her face in this area. So that's really exciting. But you can see how small this is. Like she's going to be really tiny because it only goes up to here. Like that. And then it's right here, this wide. So she's going to be a little tiny one, which is fine. Like I think she's going to be really cute in a nice picture frame. Yeah, she's very confetti heavy, so it does get really chunky in the back here. I do have some issues, even though it is 10 stitch, it feels like I'm working on the 25 count two over one like Celestine. So it does give me a little issue here and there, but it's not too bad. It's mostly in this white section since these have the most um, color changing. But yeah, I'm loving it. It's. It's making me more excited now that I can see like more details and it's not just background. But this one is on 25 count easy grid and like I said, it's two over one tent stitch. And I worked on this one for four days and I did 2,743 stitches this month. And then that puts me at 6,210 overall and I'm at 11.64% complete. Last time I was at 6.49, so that was a lot. That was a lot, a lot for my little one. Cause this is what, a 40, 
no, a 53,000, almost 500 stitch. So to already have that big jump in percentage is really cool. And this was the fifth project that I worked on this month. So this is Windrunner. So the next one is the first project that I worked on. I figured I'd just start the month with a new start. So I started this one on June 7th. And this one is Moths and Bugs by Punochka on Etsy. And I don't have a before picture, obviously, but here is what I got so far. So I did reach my goal on this one with the first uh, motif on it. So far, I'm not sure I'm in love. I like it. And now that all the colors are on the moth, I'm really, I'm definitely a lot happier with how it looks, but I don't know. I don't know if maybe I should have changed some of the colors a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see once I get some more on here. I'll keep going. It was very quick to stitch this up. Like I said, it only took two days. So for one little motif, that wasn't bad. So you can see it's tiny too. This one's only to here. Sorry, to here. So it's gonna be really small and then it's gonna be long. So that's the whole piece right there. Like I said, this one is going to be kind of steampunked out a little bit. So I'm gonna end up putting it in a nice frame and then adding a bunch of like steampunk charms to give it more of like a Victorian steampunk look to it. But so far I'm okay, I'm okay. I want to work on it because it goes quick. It's just the colors are throwing me off a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm not hating it. I just haven't found my like love for it yet. So we'll see. But this one is on 18 count Ada from Fiberlicious Yummy Fiber in Lava Chocolate. And I'm doing full cross. And so far I have 759 stitches out of 9,080. So I'm at 8.36% complete. And the, the fabric is wearing in now. It was really stiff when I started working on it, but now it's, it's getting softer. So I, like I said, I did want to finish one motif and I got that done for the month. So this is Moths and Bugs. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of like this theme going on right now. Theme, theme, theme. So I guess I'm just, I'm in the moss and bugs theme. <laughs> we went from like Beetlejuice to Celestial to now moss and bugs. <laughs> so we'll see where we're at next month, I guess. I guess that's going to be a thing, apparently. Um, but I have all my colors here. They're all DMC, all called for. I mean, here they look kind of pretty here. They actually look really nice on the camera. They're more vibrant on the camera than what they are in person. That's the color palette. It's pretty. Like I said, I thought it was, it was going to be real nice. I don't know if it's just because of the brown, how it's complementing the brown but all together they look real nice together. And I think most of the motifs, the colors are all together like that, hopefully. So I think I, I'll, I'll love it as long as all the colors stay together. But when I was just doing like the yellow, the black, and like that tan, and the tan brown or this green, is it tan? That's green, that's green. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this too much, but. Yeah, it's it's coming together, but we'll see. Let me do a couple more on there and maybe I'll I'll have a better opinion on it. So that was Moths and Bugs. And then I finally started the new normal. And the only reason it took so long to start it instead of it being like the first one I wanted to start is because one, I had to order the pattern and I didn't realize it was so hard to find it on PDF. Um, almost everywhere I saw it was uh, like a printout and then you get mailed. It'll get mailed to you. Well, it was that and I couldn't decide 
how to use the metallic threads. So, well, let me let me let me just show you where we're at and then I'll get into more details. So my goal for this was to do like a first section of a motif. And this is where I got. So there you go up close. That's so much better. You can see it. So I have noticed it does kind of blend in a little bit. I thought it was really going to pop out, but it does like from far away, it does blend in. See if you're up close, it looks really pretty and you can see all the details, but from far away. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one tripping out, but maybe I just need to do more, but I feel like it does blend in a little bit. It's hard to see like all the details. It's so pretty though. Like all the, the gradient and everything. It's so pretty. So I don't know, but you can see here on the side, like I couldn't decide. I was trying to pick like how I wanted to do the metallic threads. So I did it with like one metallic thread over one and then like two over one. I did a mixture of the etoile and the metallic and then one with like one thread, one with two. This is just the etoile in general by itself. So the one I really liked was the diamant, like I was saying, and it looks really pretty with just the metallic diamant, but it was just so hard to work with. I was having a lot of trouble in all of them. I think the closest I got was a one strand of etoile and one strand of the diamant and it came out okay but when i tried to do the elephant the first time it was it was no good it was getting all kinds of tangled so i decided to put all that off because i went to the store and i bought a whole bunch of different ones i bought which one is this i bought this one which gold and then i bought the darker gold and then i bought the grande wondering if the grande would be better. And I have the darker gold in that one, and that didn't work. And then I bought more etoile, just in case I wanted to just stay with the etoile. And then I had this one, and this is the one that I was blending with everything at first, but it was fraying too much. So I was having a lot of issues with all the fraying. So that's why I was trying to use this one because then it gave me like a strand. And so I tried two, I tried one. I just couldn't get it to work, even though it looks so pretty, so pretty, but it wasn't working. So I just decided to go with the etoile and you can see on the elephant, it's got a little sparkle on there from it. So I figured that was all right. So that's what I'm doing. And what I decided is I'm using the Silks For You purple to blue gradient, and then I'm using just the yellow etoile. So I love it up close. I'm, I really love how pretty it looks. Let me pull this back up again. But I just feel like now my issue is that it's blending in. I thought it would really pop on that black. It kind of does. So I feel like this is one that I just need to do more before I make a decision about it. So, yeah, that's the new normal. And the thing is, is that I had to buy it. So I don't have it on Pattern Keeper. So I don't have numbers. I don't know how many stitches are in total. Uh, I tried to look online, but I couldn't see. So if you know how many total stitches there are in this, please let me know so that I can kind of try to track how much I'm doing. I might just give in and buy the PDF because there was only one place I found the PDF pattern because this one was from 123 Stitch um, that I had to get mailed. So I think um, I'm going to have to get a PDF pattern because I'm not sure I'm loving the paper pattern. I am doing like the highlight part, but it's just, I do get a little miscounted here and there. So I have had to frog on this one a couple times. The whole elephant itself had to come off and not because of the metallic, 
I actually miscounted where it was, so it was higher than it needed to be. So I was like, well, I guess it worked out because I didn't like how it was looking anyways. So I just ended up restarting him in general. Um, so yeah, so I'm not sure about the paper pattern. I, I'm, I probably might end up buying the PDF. So I don't know what's going on this month. It was a lot. And I do, I do love all my projects. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, this is the New Normal by Long Dog Samplers. And I did finish a motif section. So it was on here, it's the little side here. So I did get done when I wanted to get done on it. It was pretty quick too, it didn't take too long. It did take me two days to do it and I am doing full crosses. And this was the fourth project I worked on this month. And I started this one on June 18th. But I do think I did around 600 to about a thousand stitches. So I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's around there, between there. It's a good um, stitch range, but um, yeah, somewhere around there. I did like working on it, I will say that. It was really fun, these silks, these silks are nice they're really nice to work with they're i mean it's beautiful it's a beautiful gradient i just i love working with it it's just soft like i don't know how to describe it it's so smooth when it goes through so smooth but it does slip off my needle a little bit but it's not annoying so i am excited to work on it again i am excited to work on it again it's just the visually i'm not sure about it so we'll see how I feel when I finish a bigger motif on it and I step back. We'll see how it looks. So that is the new normal by Long Dog Samplers. And then the last project that I have today is another new start. So I started three new starts this month. Um, but this is the Space Dragon by Lola Lotta Shop. So the artist for this one is, I'm going to try it, Nadezda Kazarina. And I really like working on this. This one, it started off as another iffy, but now that I have more on it, I'm like, oh yes, this is gonna be beautiful. It's a Russian cross stitch pattern. So it's gonna have lots of details, lots of back stitching, some French knots. But right now I'm just working on the full cross section. So this is how far I got. So it's still in the Q snap. Look, you can see all that nice detail. Look how cute it is. It's super cute. So I worked on this, I think only two, three, two days, three days, barely three days, because I went to take this one. Um, my brother and sister-in-law took the girls to the pool. We were there for like 30 minutes and then it started to pour. So <laughs> it started raining down and I just got a couple stitches in that last day before we had to run for cover. But I did a good amount of progress on it. This was really fun to do. I was having a lot of fun doing this one so far. Um, but I did meet my goal on this. I wanted to get like one section um, done. So I got his little head done and yeah, those colors are just beautiful. I thought they were, I thought they might blend in a little bit onto the fabric when I first started because it was lots of like whites and like a white blue. Here, I'll show you. There's like a white blue and like a white green and two different, well, there's one white, but a light purple. So they were kind of blending in a little bit, but now that there's more and they're all together, you can really see the detail and stuff in it. So I feel a lot better about my choices now. But this one is on 18 Count Ada and it's Gothic by Pictures is Plus. And I did do 691 stitches so far out of 7,308 stitches. So I'm at 9.46%. But like I said, I don't think that's counting all the back stitching and the French knots that I'm going to have to do at the end. I don't know if I'm going to save it all for the end, but I'm definitely not doing it yet. I think I'll get a little more on him so I'm not like jumping around too much. 
Um, but yeah, definitely more needs to be done on him before I start any of the back stitching anyways. So I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this. This is really fun and it's turning out beautiful so far. So I think I'm going to have to give him a name. I don't know what yet, but he's going to get a name. Yeah, I like doing names. So I'll have a name for him next time. I got to think about it. Next time I stitch on him, I will sit and think about what I would call him. So this was the sixth project that I worked on this month. And he's just a little tiny dinky thing. That's why he's on my little tiny like key snap. I think this is a six by eight and he only goes, I think the edges are here already, right here somewhere. And then it's the same, almost the same size top and bottom. So he's gonna be really small. He's gonna be a little tiny thing. But yeah, that is my little dragon. I do have a lot of plans. I don't have any haul this time. I have not bought anything. I know Joanne's just had a sale on their floss. So I'm sure it was like 49 cents a skein. So I was thinking maybe I could stock up on my pile of Yoshi's that I want to start for the Dinosaur December sale or the unconventional X-Stitch Medusa for the unconventional Medusa sale in January. But I figured I had time and like I said, I was, I was preoccupied. <laughs> to say the least. So I think um, I'll just hold off a little more on those. Now that I have seven projects, I feel like I have enough. I don't wanna start anything else because I feel like if I pass this point, I'm gonna get a little overwhelmed. So I wanna make sure that I have a good amount and I do like working on all of them, I really do. So I think um, these small ones will go really fast and then I can add something new in there. I do want to start thinking of a birthday start project and there's a couple that I'm like, ooh, I really want to start that, but I don't know if I want to wait till January to start that. So I just haven't bought anything. Like I said, I'm content with what I have right now and I'm just going to wait until I finish something before I start bringing something else in. Now, speaking of the sounds, once again, I am the worst YouTuber ever because I still have not pulled my giveaway winners for my 2000 subs in my last video. Who were going to win the two dinosaur project bags that I made with the charms. So I finally did pick someone with the random comment picker and the winners are Gina Collins and Rebecca Waters. And I already have all their information so I am going to the post office today and I will be opening up my PO box finally and then I will be shipping these two out. So both of you, congrats for winning. Thank you to everyone so much for participating. Thank you all for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching these videos. I do them for fun, but I am happy someone enjoys seeing all the work I put into this channel. So these will be going out to you guys soon. So keep an eye out for that. I will also go back and make sure I comment on your comments so that you know. And then I guess the last bit today is just gonna be my plans for this next coming month. So I guess going back to Celestine, this one in particular, it's going to be her birthday month. I believe I started her the last week of July. So for all month, I think I'm gonna try the 25-7 where you stitch for 25 minutes or make 25 stitches a day. And I'm just gonna work on her every day, at least for that much. So we'll see how far we get, but I'm hoping we'll just say another four columns, just because that's about a good um, goal with everything else that I'm working on now. I think um, it's manageable, but a little bit of a challenge. So I'm gonna do four columns, not including this one. I'll, well, maybe including this one. <laughs> I'll just be safe. We're, we're including this one. So one, two, three. So three columns on Celestine for her birthday month. Man, so I've been working on her for like a year now. That is crazy. It doesn't feel like that. For Persephone, you guys already know Persephone. She's gonna get another page. So it's pretty easy to get a page, seven days, done, let's do it. 
So we're going one more page on Persephone. And then on Halloween Quaker, same thing. I'm just going to add another motif. Um, maybe continuing up here to finish the top. Or I will, if I'm in the mood, go down to the bottom and fix the bottom and finish the row of houses. So we'll see, but definitely another motif. On Windrunner, I think I will do half a page. So four columns, we'll say four columns. I'll finish four columns on her um, for this month. I think that's a good reachable amount. It is 10 stitch, so it does go much faster. I think four columns is good for her. Then we have moss and bugs. And of course, I'm going to do another motif. So it might be there's two insects here in the middle. So I might bo do both of those as one motif, or I will just do the other um, circle part on this side as a motif. So one motif on moths and bugs. For the new normal, I will be doing another motif. So it, it'll probably be this big circle or this big circle. So it'll either be with the horse or it'll be with like the ship and the, the seahorses and like a wave of leaves or something. <laughs> So we'll see, I'll, I think I might move this way for the horse, so we'll see. But one, mot one whole circle motif on this one. And last but not least, on my space dragon, I will finish another section. So maybe it'll be the ball or his wing or all of his, the rest of his arms in the front. Um, just another little block of section on him. Any other plans that I have for this next coming month, I do want to try and make some project bags because I don't have a project bag for Space Dragon. I just have him in the bag that the fabric came in and he actually fits pretty perfectly in there. Watch, look how perfect that is. He fits in there, <laughs> but I think he needs a bag. He definitely needs a bag. The new normal I have in my personal um, dinosaur bag so you can see everything fits in here really nicely. Just the pattern is obviously too big, but um, this is fine. I will, leave, I will leave this in their home for now because I won't need that until the end of the year. And then of course my wind runner is still in my daughter's uh, little plastic uh, folder that she got. And then I don't have anything for moths and bugs. So I do need to make a couple more project bags this month that, um, so that they all have their little homes and everything stays together. Because right now it's all kind of just stacked in a little pile and everything is getting mixed around. So I'll be working on that this month. So you'll see some new project bags I make next month. So I think that's completely it. <gasps> One more thing. So I was browsing through Etsy the other day and I did end up finding the Hufflepuff common room. Remember that I was talking about that Harry Potter uh, common room Christmas set where it had each of their common rooms. Well, they finally, I don't know if they finally made the Hufflepuff or they just finally put it up or I don't know what, but I finally found it. So now there's all four. So eventually I'm gonna start those but that's gonna be a very, very big project. So I'm going to wait till I, like I said, finish one of the small ones, and then maybe I'll add that one in next, um, before the end of the year. I don't know if I wanna make that my birthday start. Like I said, it's something that I'm really excited about, so I don't know if I wanna wait that long to start it. But I'm happy they finally have it up there, so that's something I plan to do in the near future, and then, I did get a suggestion about the create your own adventure Harry Potter thing um, from Cunning Stitches, Cunning, Cunning something. I can't think right now, but I'll link it down below. And that one was really cool too. I liked all the little like motifs that it gave you and I think it's free, all of it's free. So I might do something with that too. Maybe I'll put them together and like add the little tiny motifs around the common rooms. We'll see, that's an idea. So I have some time, so I'm gonna think about it and play around with some ideas. And then I can finally get that dream Harry Potter 
cross stitch that I really, really want. So that is also a future plan. Once my brother and sister-in-law head back home, I don't have anything else planned for the month. So it should get back to normal here. And I do hope to make a little more progress than I did this month. I feel a little more motivated when I reach for the higher goals. I don't have any shout outs this month. Unfortunately, I just have not been watching a lot of floss tube other than my regular floss tubers that I watch. I'm gonna make sure that my subscribe list is visible and then that way you can just check out who I'm subscribed to yourself and you can browse through and see if there's anyone you wanna check out on there. But they're basically the ones that I've just been continuing to watch when I do have time between all of the reading. So that is it today. I know I don't have a lot more exciting stuff this time around, but it's just like I said, it's been a super busy month. Now, if you want to follow me on Goodreads, I will leave my Goodreads link down below so you can go ahead and follow me there. Like I said, this is the first year I actually have like stuff to show on there. So if you want to check it out and see like what's driving me this year, then go ahead and I'll, link, I'll leave that there for you if you want to see that. But that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!